And then you'll end up I, being solo. I don't know if it'll work, yeah. They're, they're pinging now. Maybe maybe he will not. Uh, they do get some tower damage. That that kind of tells them that they want to shrine. And Mind Control might die for this, but he's going to get the tower very low. He's got one charges as well as the ability to TP, but when there's that many stuns around him, not enough regeneration to save you, Mind Control. So bottom tower will be denied by Virtus Pro. He's ready to fight. Their Dire Observer Ward saw him go down. Ramsey's now tries to go up the hill. There's your combination from Miracle, and Ramsey's tries to sunder. The continuous stuns from Mind Control and Miracle go to work while in mid lane, the initiation was onto Matumberman. So a core for core trade off, and VP will get damage into a T1 tower now. And still not, not too much, used. though. So they still have Doom ready to go at all points. Kind of a cool build. Toss, throwing back into the river. Koro, no one with that early bling tag is able to put it to work and there's nothing Koro can do to save his life. No one actually gets a double kill out of this. On the other side of the map, Ramses is, is sitting to push up the top lane, but Liquid's setting up for this one. Yep. This could definitely be cool if they get the stomp. Okay. Oh, they need that stomp to happen so the Sunstrike can connect. It's almost max Exort Doom. It's onto my control. Ramsey's turning into Metamorphosis. Kuro is there to protect him as long as he possibly can. Just give more life regeneration, but Solo and no one also arrive into the party. They'll group them together, tossing Turo, Kuro in. My control and Kuro both going down to the three position Doombringer. They just have to gap close. The Observe Ward gives them all the information they require. They go. So they're waiting for everything to get brought down. Oh, I Ice Blast, pop, and goodbye like and the jungle is no longer a safety zone, That's it's so a danger zone. It's just so sick how they did that. They didn't even defend Ramsey's pushing the top lane. They knew that Liquid was not going to be able to defend right now, so they instantly smoke and go where he's going to farm. And by doing so, it means that Ramsey's at perfect efficiency, and then they can instantly transition to the next objective. So they took this one objective win, and they turned it into a kill and a second tower. The Ice Blast, well, okay. He's just very worried about VP diving right now. Oh, here they come. Team Liquid, Slink in, stun. They want the kill on the Terra Blade. The Sunstrike may help him to do it. In fact, it does do it. Ramsey's will fall. Still a one for one trade off as that Lycan had really no say in his own death. Asha on the back of Kuro, mind control. They're split up. That's the medic as well as the primary carry. Kuro can't get enough damage out. But mind control can blink and get the stun. Yes! Avalanche from no one was a pebble away from connecting. Side of his own jungle. It's not like he's an anti mage, he's more maneuverable. You're already gonna start with the Flexo Matumberman trying to get back to his tier two tower. Support is coming in from Team Liquid. McKemetumba survive long enough. No, he cannot. The final tree snap will break break his back. Solo and Roger are starting to flank around the side too, so you can jump in, but the initiation and the combination was all in the illusion of Solo. It was the illusion rune to Roger and Solo combined together. False promise, protecting my control for the moment. Kuro needs to give him more life. Kuro, however, has nothing more to give. His life is forfeit. My control does survive. Because if he goes BKB, then he, that contributes or makes him no only one. team fighting. Blink up, initiate. As the Ice Blast is coming in, it's real problems for Liquid. They get hit by this so hard. Kuro able to deny Miracle. Oh, Miracle gets a revenge. Mind Control can't go anywhere. Locked inside the cold feet. Roger hiding inside the Sandstorm, but they had the dust down, so at least they're able to wrap him up. Underneath the Tier 3 towers is where Liquid are currently dying. No one and Pasha, just unstoppable. They're playing so well. I mean, the only thing that went well for Liquid in that fight was that Curl was able to kill his ally so that he <laughs> couldn't give golden experience to the enemy team, which was a good grab because Invoker was certainly going to die there. I don't know, though, necessarily. But there's no metamorphosis. This is the issue now for Virtus Pro. They don't have that high damage. Secondary TP's coming. Blink, do Miracle is oh, the primary is target. Kuro going to start giving him the life. They need to keep him alive for the moment. But Toss, throwing Ramsey's in deep into the fight, and the Ice Blast is going to help out hugely, connecting onto Miracle, Ice Blast, and Doom, goodbye Invoker, Pasha <laughs> will lose his life at this, however, so it's a one-for-one -one trade off That's a big streak to end for Matumbaman as Ramsey's getting tossed up near Matumbaman, he needs an no extra avalanche. damage, and Matumbaman can just get back out again. No Avalanche, no stun, no control. Paddling on either side, but Invoker is up. Ramsey's is low. You know he would love a Sunder. The Sunstrike in the backline. Solo almost walked back into it. The way they're and where's the jump? So no good. one! He goes in deep. 
EMP Tornado with the Ice Path and the Stomp. It actually catches two of them. Here comes your Ice Path. Miracle to get caught with this one. Mataman lucky to be not, but then again, the mirror. It's just the images coming out from Terrorblade. They're their own worst enemy team, Liquid. No one. He may even get it out this one with the Inferno Blade stopping the DK. No one is living in the tree lines. Mind Control can't reach him. Liquid were battling inside the base, and Mind Control is stranded outside of it. Breathe Fire can't even reach no one. VP's positioning. It's the perfect split. Someone's in the trees. GH, wait for the spirit. Necrobook's being burned as well. Don't worry about Invis. Roger's nearby. Mind Control needs a good jump stun, and now he's found it. It's no one's tiny, but the BKB comes up, and here comes Pasha as well. Ice Blast, no! Miracles and huge worlds of problem. Kuro can't save him anymore. The ET Splitter will buy some level of space for Team Liquid, but Miracle, he'll pop in just a second, and that second is now. Mind Control can't retreat either. They're right behind him, slowed down by the Scardi. The ET Stomp creates a little bit of space. Blink Dagger now off cooldown, down the river. No way, is it following? Okay. I don't know if that was going to keep going all the way, but the, basically what won that team fight was status resistance on Tiny. But as Pro are on the hunt once more. Team Liquid have been burning a lot of smokes, but you know what VP are looking for? It's mine, can, it's uh, Matumbaman, and he's walking directly into them. No one, Avalanche Tons, Ice Blast, boom. Dude. Goodbye, Lycan. They're playing so safe. They, they, they were smoked. They walked past bounty runes without picking them up because they did not want to let Liquid see the bounties disappearing. Like, they, they know kills are all that matters here. TB's ability to just respawn. I mean, even getting killed in the first place looks hard. 2600 HP on Terrible with BT. a 9 second miracle. Hit. He actually just jumped on the back, putting out the Cataclysm. He wants to kill quickly on the solo, remove okay. that negative regeneration, then onto the Sand King. It's just the stuns, but there's so much damage from behind. Miracle just gets destroyed. DK is now doomed up too, and Liquid is split into multiple parts. No way for Koro. Well, he'll try his TP, but that will not be successful. And he knows there's not enough regeneration to stop him from popping. They're still on the back line though. Dragonite's Doom has just ran out. Maybe they can go back in and find a kill. Maybe, no, but run. you don't have the Invoker and no one's actually looking towards Mind Control. We need to blink. Oh, he gets hit. This Avalanche. is really bad now. Turns for a Dragon Tail stun. He'll be able to blink. He can TP as well if you'd like to, but it's inside the base. Ramses has burned the Metamorphosis, feeding into that melee Rax. DH is there to help out. Meanwhile, Matalman caught outside the base. Whoops, indeed, and GG is called out from Liquid. They were trying so many things, but none of it working. Virtus Pro, clean and surgical in their attack. Take game one. It's just, it's winning matchups. Oh, there's the Gale again. Yeah, rolling boulder in. This should be first blood. No one underneath his own tower. Being brought down, Roger would have been there to help, but he was too busy moving up. Not a healthy position for this Underlord to be in, but like, there's only one courier. You can't bring out more consumables. Roger looking for a bar strike into mid. Esmataman held in position. They will find this kill. Uh, TP in from Kuro. That level 2 Shadow Work looking for a target. Comes through the tree line to put it on to Roger, but with Spirit Siphon from no one. Rolling Boulder. GH will come in for the double kick. He'll get a revenge kill onto the SK. Not quite certain that Courier wants to be there. Is waiting for the Venomancer to arrive as GH only well, can't really help out. This is just Solo going to walk away from him. He could just teleport, but I don't think he feels surrendered at all. Nobody else is going to follow him this far, so they're just going to fight for bounties. That's well, they're, it. They're bringing friends. Roger's coming in, rolling Perfect Boulder in timing. from GH. He'll steal the bounty room, but Roger looking for the revenge. He's only got a level one Barrow Strike. He has to be slowing down with Rams moving off the bottom lane. They'll pick up the Earth Spirit, a kick away. In the meantime, Liquid always has that one Ooh, hero top in last hits. That's a double damage for no one with Spirit Siphon. Shadow Word, Restoration on Koro, the miss! Ah, it's gonna be there! The mini Blink Dagger, right? And there's still 3 4 of movement speed versus the 295, and he may want it as he has to outrun Roger. TP support is coming in right now, it's Koro. Miracle will need to put that Shadow Word on top of him, and the Fatal Bonds, potential turn to fight. Huskar, oh, caught inside the pit. How much can you toggle? Not enough through this. Not when no one brings in such huge physical damage. But a Gale and Nova. VP, they get coded. But really, they're still surviving. The Fatal Bonds is making this very difficult to live. I think it'll be okay even if Warlock is delayed on 6, but VP's rotations here are yeah. set up to beat Mind Control. They gotta save the stun though, or he can TP. Is, is this the same thing again? Like Mind Control into the trees? This one's gonna be harder. If oh, he can juke and TP. <laughs> if we're cracking Shell Shaw, you just break free of everything you want to. There's so many heroes, like just three heroes chasing him into the tree lines. Roger does use the bar strike, gets the kill. Huge plays actually from Liquid to disengage there. 
wonder how much they make these plays off of uh, previous game performances. Mind Control's in trouble. He doesn't have a lot of mana to work with. 11-1 charges can give him some life in that mana, but he'll need more support. Kuro is here. There goes your Ravage rolling ball of Fatal Blows together with the Rock. The damage is going to be huge. Rambi switches a lot of it out. He thunders GH. Allowing him to have enough damage to kill off my control. They're still connected, remember, into the trees. Roger, Invis, and actually with the sandstorm, they already found and the kill over on GH. Roger will burn. A uh, value lost if he dies, so if they're going to glyph, slow this down a little bit. Oh, there she blink. Roger, finding that perfect time to reveal it. The kick is good from GH. No! Rolling ball to TP at the start! Oh, the damage. Purifying flames from Solo. He doesn't even want them close to him. No. Nope. The fast solar crest on Tide Hunter as well. He just it so hard to kill They're going to pin him up. Have they got the extra help? Roger Farris strikes forward. The stun won't connect. The rock as well as Fatal Bonds. VP, they're connected once more. The Aegis Immortal has done its work. Miracle back to the world of the living. Looking for a good target, but they don't really have one. They want more distance. Miracle rooted up. Forced in. He goes after Ramsey, dropping him down low. The Ravage finally from Mind Control comes out. Same with the Nova. All of VP are coded up, but no one from Liquid is really left alive to do anything about it. No one will have a double kill. Matumba, he just needs to get out of this one. Roger's so low. He should actually die. No, he won't. It's Poison Nova and Poison Sting. He he's die. going oh. to tick right now. 7 HP and he survives through it. Virtus Pro lose nobody. So this is a good place for VP to be. They've got a gold advantage. Oh, there's your root already on the Miracle. Fire Strike as well. He can't wow. actually toggle out of this. GH has a rolling boulder himself away. Fortune 10 will connect. But the rest of Liquid won out. Warlock won't be so lucky. The TP canceled on Koro. Accepts his fate and two heroes from Liquid without buyback. All they try to do is take that tier 2 tower on top. And they got the Veno kill, but the, the follow-up was that the BKBs were used and they got Miracle kind of low. Oh, Ooh, not good solo. Out too far. The kick will connect. He needs a little bit more regeneration. The sounds is there. Rolling ball to forward. GH pulling himself back. As Miracle, not really that low on life right now. He needs to drop a little bit lower. So he can attack faster. That bottom tier 3 tower is still licking his wounds. But they're sticking with the creep wave in mid. They don't want to bounce out. Ramses looks for the fight. Or he turns on the reflection. Miracle hitting himself pretty hard. Has the BKB available. Pushed away. GH trying to help him out with that kick. Miracle now BKB turns around. Goes after Solo. He will stand his ground with the damage into so Ramses. Ramses, Ramses, no. Ramses, Ramses, Miracle! He thunders over on mind control, gets him back to life! Pasha wants to end this and he'll do so! Everybody home! They got the kill they want, they ended Miracle! It's gonna be a little harder for Huskar as the game goes on, but he's picked up his Hyperstone now. The uh, the Lifesteal perk at 15 is a lot of work for him. The Observed Walk from BP it. watches this happen very, very openly. Kuro has Rock coming back off cooldown as uh, Roger, Epicenter. His timing couldn't be better right now. Epicenter looking to jump in. The virus strike. No, he didn't get inside the pit. He was on the edge of the wall. No one will enter in. Miracle of the Agency Wall. The rock is huge. The ravage is better. But the BKB protect by Virtus Pro. They stand their ground and fight. Pasha, he'll give his life for this one. But Rams is a no one. They are just way too big. The Viper coming in from GH. Kuro is on the run. Where is your big man? Huska. Back to the world of the living. Now the Agency Mortal has popped. But how much fight has he got left in him? Solo protecting himself. He can't find until Miracle jumps over, they almost kill off Ramses, oh, they them. do kill off Ramses, the Burning Spears do the work, but no one, he stands through the entire thing, the immortal hero for Virtus Pro, thanks to the help of the Oracle, Team Liquid are wiped. The ultimate's not fully up, Rock is still on cooldown for 10 more seconds, as this time Liquid are getting into a position to have that aggressive ward, so they see no one, Pasha and Ramses all running in. Mind Control, this is his moment to get that Ravage off before the BKBs, no one got his off in time, and the Rock with the Fatal Bond, Ramses low, but he sunders GH, gets all the life back once more with the Exorcism damage, Liquid cannot withstand this much power! They're on the run back out again, but this is three heroes from Liquid gone, they had the vision, they knew what they were getting into, but Virtus Pro come out victorious! But it would cause too much trouble for Liquid to continue out that far. And the illusions of Terrorblade in the meantime are chipping away at the top tower, keeping them at bay. Miracle looks for a target. They're chasing out. The vision is there with the Observer and Sentry up on the hill for the three-man sounds. They have to break free. The BKB is there. Ravage and Rock are pretty good, but not good enough. My Control just gets evaporated out. Rock is on the run. The least Miracle is able to stand thanks to Lotus or pushed around. The buyback comes in from the Titan, but there won't be one from the Husker. The kick is awesome from G8. 
but Vardis Pro, so strong, so powerful, moving forward once more, they get free of the upheaval, thanks to the Yule Scepter on Decoro, so BP with their movement speed back, make their way towards the tier 3 tower on bottom, the pit controls up Matalman, nothing more to give, no way to really continue this fight, he has a buyback available, the Vardis Pro continue their push through. Red wants to look for a little bit more here. The Fatal Bonds is still over on Virtus Pro. That's a fresh one, but then they stand, they turn, they get the silence over, and a double forest drive from Roger. He is a beast on this hero. Gets the perfect hit on the on the Venomancer. That's a dieback from him. Mind control isolated. At least got Anchor Smash to reduce some of the damage, but when Rams in the back line, killing off the rest of Liquid, this may be it. They've lost too many. They've lost everybody. Team Liquid pushing up the daisies as Virtus Pro plant their flag inside the Liquid. Liquid base, this place belongs to them. And Liquid feels like they can hold on here. I thought maybe they'd call a good game, but they pop the glit. Buyback from GH and now Huskar's alive, but the last couple he's engagements, he's going in. straight in. Is this straight to the front it? lines? He's after Ramsey. GH has to help out. The piss down once more. They're fighting. Miracle is so low. He doesn't have enough life. Not when Roger gets it done. That's it. That's GG. Battle Pro advance to the grand final of the Booker S Major. Man. Team Liquid once again forced into this. In terms of last hits, remember he can rely on those stack camps that we've seen previously from Jower Copters. The top lane already, a lot of damage being done by both of the supports. Roger trying to man fight Fade, who has plus 68 damage. Pasha, he's got the tree grab, so he has no real burst potential with the avalanche. Of the the, uh, the toss. Meanwhile, they'll get the kill bottom. The spin comes in solo, the Thunder Strike. And it's Yang dropped down first and foremost, and they'll get first blood in this first game of the Grand Final. Very nice. It's an extremely huge being able to kill the Brewmaster in that lane. They're going to go top. The Snowball coming in. They've got the Astral. A couple more auto attacks. The Ice Shards. They bring down Silar. Wow. That's even better for Virtus Pro. And they're looking for more. They might trade Roger. He's going to use the Fairy Fire. Face still stopping him down with the Briefcase, but it's not enough to get the kill. The South comes out. There's the toss. Pasha. A couple more auto attacks might do what they should have. Not enough mana for the Ice Shards available. Pasha still has a little bit more in the tank. He's level two. He's already used the toss. He's got the tree got grab. The tree he might bot. throw the tree, but now Siler comes back in with a loose beep toss back from Siler. Oh. The tree toss as well, and Basha <laughs> asserting his dominance in this top lane early on, Brax. The dominance indeed. That was, that was pretty crazy. So I guess the answer to that mid lane matchup in levels in that mid lane, but it's a 1k advantage, but there will be a smoke from VGJ Thunder. They'll try to find no one in the mid lane. The raindrop has been taken off by the Spirit Lance. This could be the right time to go for this gank. He has an Akil and two wand charges. The stop is going to come in. This is not the easiest find. They'll have it, but the TPs are coming in on that. They've got the rocket rods. Freeze has to run. Roger looking for a DDC, but Freeze might be the target they're looking for. The Nightmare comes in. They want to find more, but he doppelgangers down to the low ground. Still, they will keep no one safe. The Ice Shards oh. almost hitting, and Freeze just able to slip away. So, so close. Under the cover of Darkness, the spin onto the bottom lane. Yang getting caught out. The Thunder Strike, the last auto attack, and Ramses gets the kill. EP making it happen in every lane. There was going to be some help for Yang, but he's actually having a pretty tough time. I think both off are kind of struggling at this point, Brax. Yeah, Pasha, he can't really get close to the creeps anymore, but he's doing all right now. Fade getting run down. The Rocket Barrage is a lot of damage. It's going to be another kill, and now Freeze trying to turn into Roger. He has another Spirit Lance in two seconds, but he still can't find... Wherever he goes, Roger's able to set up a nice kill with the Ice Shard, Snowball, and then, of course, Tiny's picking up more levels, so then it's going to be even more dangerous for the Luna to stay in front, especially when Roger rotates in. And they can make moves in every lane. Look at this. Omni Slash. Yang dead again. Ramsey's just the long enough range for that Omni Slash to get off in time. Another kill for this jug. We can, we've seen what Ramsey's can do when he gets room. They are doing really well for this British Pro. The, the cores on this team are just insane in what they can accomplish. They found Yang again. He's still only level 5. Ramsey says no Omni Slash. The Glimpse is going to come back though. They've got the spin. The clap will come in a little bit too late. They've got the Thunder Strike. This should be another kill unless he can juke it. Thunder Strike doing a little bit more damage. They won't be able to finish him off. Now the call down coming in. Here's the Luna. They want this kill on the side of the Rocket Project. They've got the Homing Missile. He's pretty fast though. One more auto attack, or maybe the Homing Missile might do the job. He will stick up. He will fairy fire. Rams is just he's one auto attack and he will fight it. And they might find Yang as well. No one is in there. He has a double damage. The spin comes out. DDC's in trouble. They're dying out of the tower. It's a double kill for Rams in a dominating spree. VTJ Thunder are feeding under their tier one and freeze. He's to be careful that he doesn't do the same. And now it's more action in the top lane. They snowball Pasha's here, but they cannot find the initiation onto Fade. He will be back, in, back up under the tree line and be fine. As they're pushing into the tier one tower in this top lane. Ooh, this Ronichi style of Dota is working out for Virtus Pro, but here come VGJ Thunder. Yang still not six yet. Pasha on the run with Roger. Drop the Frozen Sigil. They should be able to get out though. Luna in the jungle.
get her while she's farming. They've even smoked up. They're going to try to find this kill with Roger. The snowball will come in. Siler getting chased on the kinetic field. They have the glimpse. They've got the static storm. This should be a kill. They have the Omni Slash. The Nightmare comes in. Maybe not. They'll turn this around. The Omni Slash going with the spin. The ice shirts actually hurts them. They've got the fusion, but they're turning it around. And now they might want to try to fight this with Freeze T being in the loose beam. The Eclipse is there. And Ramses is dead. A big turn for BGJ Thunder. Wow. They all grouped up. The ice shirts actually hurts for it is pro. What a fight for them. What a turnaround. The sleep bought so much time, even in the static storm, dodging at the attacks. It's very nice. No one will find a kill in the mid lane, though. On to Freeze. He throws up the call down. The homing missile, the rocket barrage, is more than enough damage. So even though they get the kill on the Juggernaut, no one has now taken over the top net worth spot in this game. That's very unexpected, being able to die to a solo gyrocopter like that. And they're going to get another one, potentially. They've got the homie missile. It changes direction mid-flight. They get off the Nightmare. The Rocket Barrage is still going. The Brain Sap makes DDC rather tanky. The Thunderstrike and another Rocket Barrage will go, though, and that will secure yet another kill for no one in this mid lane. Bill, both teams farming really well. Virtus Pro, especially with their cores. They're getting close to that Battle Fury for Rams, despite dying. They're still fine. Good scan from the, the Radiant, though, to find out the fact that they're running at them. Virtus Pro are getting run at by VGJ Thunder with the smoke. Ramses is up close though, he might get caught. I think he spotted them. He's going to back up to the high ground. They have a, they're have they sitting on the Dire Ward here, so they spot no one. So fighting into this for BGJ Thunder is kind of tough. They found the Static Storm, they need the Omni Slash, they need the Spin, and they will get it off. He gets the uh, the Nightmare, and he actually split just survives. The Split comes in now. The Earth Splitter doing support. They've got the Fiend, and Ramses is going in, but DDC gets by, hit by a homing missile, and now DDC is actually in trouble. The Rocket Barrage, the Flacken, they're still turning this, even with the Bruce Split, it's two dead on the side of BGJ Thunder, and now they've caught out the Earth Panda. They just need to take it down, it's all they need to do, but they will just take down the Brewmaster instead as he comes back into his normal form. Three dead, and now Freeze might get caught out as well by no one. If he's not careful, they'll spot him out, and Freeze will try to back himself away, but a big fight for Virtus Pro in that top jungle, Brads. Wow, that is actually ridiculous. They managed to, they knew that was there. You know, they scouted no one out there. Wait, can he kill us? Uh, I don't think so. Not it's, it's close, but... Still, pushes him back, right? Now, yep. And with no split now, VP smoking up into the bottom lane, trying to catch uh, Luna, especially with Ponch. DDC was their dish, but they'll find Siler to toss Avalanche combo. They blow him up immediately. They're looking for more on to fade. They have no homing missile available for the Rocket Barrage, and they are able to chase him down. Look at that damage, and no one on a mega kill streak now. Making plays just like this. This glimpse is actually a little bit awkward, though. They didn't. They wanted to go for the toss Ava combo. They couldn't quite find it. Yang still doesn't have the Bruce, but he'll try for the clap. But I don't know if that's going to save his life. The homing missile comes in. The thunder strike. They just need one more auto attack, and they will find it from no one. And that's Yang dead yet again. They're abusing these cooldowns, Brad. Yes, they are indeed. Every time glimpses up, they can look for these pickoffs and can't run from them. You know, disrupt is such a VP. Right, they want to keep pressing these advantages that they have in the mid game. You can't actually dodge this hero very well just because of the extremely long catch range on the glimpse. It helps you extend this lead even further. And they're trying to find more with it as well, except this time it's just the tiny and the, the tusk, and that's really all they need. The disruptor was coming, he's not needed there. Yeah, as well. Kinetic field, the glimpse back doesn't really work out, but they do have the ice shards. The call down coming to stomp is going to be there, but it will not hit on no one. Good nightmare safe, the call down is still going. They've got the stun up, they've got the rocket barrage. They need one more auto attack and they will find it. Pasha, the Eclipse coming in, not doing that much nice damage. So the snowball, snowball save is there in time and the Walrus Punch coming in on the other side. They will find DDC. Now Siler trying to bring down Pasha would be a big kill for him if he could. The toss is there, the Ice Shards, he's still alive! He will get dropped down to the backside, I believe, by the Earth Panda. But he will find deep. another target that's going to be Freeze down. The PL is dead. Siler has to run, so does Yang. The Bruce Split is over. Roger's still up there, all Could five still living. The Ice Shards will keep them in for now. They'll get through a small crack and they'll blink themselves to safety, at least one of them. Well, Silar will not, but we'll be able to walk back up to the high ground here momentarily. They've got the stomp coming in, another ice shards coming through. Now Fade getting chased down, but they don't want to dive the tier three tower. Still another fantastic fight for Virtus Pro. Another Bruce split, and still another one team fight for VP. This is supposed to be your ultimate that wins you these team fights at this stage of the game, especially with the Eclipse, but they just can't find it. They and were so close to getting Pasha too. Yes, they were. But even if they kill Pasha, it's still not actually a one team fight, right? It's a nice consolation prize if they manage to find the tiny kill, but. They have to fight based around this Eclipse, they have to fight based around this PL. They've got the Glimpse back, they found the Nightmare for DDC to keep him alive. The Thunderstrike will take off the Raindrop. Posh is coming in. A little bit too slow, the Glimpse was already used, so he should be okay. But there's Posh blinking, maybe not. Wow, he actually just destroys him. The Static Storm coming out just to make sure Freeze can't go to work on Posh. Posh is fine, they get the Aegis along with a kill, and maybe now a tier 3 tower push for Slow Siege here. And another Glimpse from Solo, but... He's okay. Doppelgangers on the The PL Disruptor matchup is so hot. All BK no one is. Pasha the BKB, he is in the rocket barrage. Silar can do nothing. He is dead for 53. He will be alone now in the grave while the rest of his team is. These two 
Kira's hit this, uh, this mid-game power spike, and they're so good at forcing this objective. I mean, it'll just clear the creep wave. They'll do what they can. Elder Titan pretty good at high ground defense. They're forced split. to Bruce split now. That'll be down, but it does at least bridge the gap between the Luna respawning. But they might even lose this Brewmaster if they're not careful. It's only the Earth Panda now alive. Possibly oh, the for They've got the shards. Brewmaster in trouble. The Walrus Punch keeping it bay. Oh and they actually get the kill through the split for Burn and Crow. The Earth Splitter comes in, but it's too little too late. They'll kill the illusions. They can continue to see. They still have the ages to work with with Virtus Pro. This tier three tower will fall. There's no cliff available. There's no Brew split. This this Luna has Eclipse, but how much will that do? Rogers in deep, they've got the Lucent Beam, they've got the Fiends Group, so they will get at least Rogers one kill. Down. It might be time to back if you've heard us, bro. The Nightmare coming in, that's the sleep. They want the Rex, I don't know if they want to go. Pasha has the Blink Dagger at the ready, though, to try to find accommodation on somebody with Toss Avalanche. Ramsey's getting attacked by Siler, a lot of damage being done. He's going to spin and try to finish off the Rex, he will do so. The building down bottom has been taken care of. Ramsey's getting low, but he keeps the Aegis alive. The BKB forced by no one. Breeze was thinking about chasing him to the high ground, now decides against it, and Virtus Pro will get out with only the loss, maybe only the loss of the Tusk. Seems like another two items to compete with all of these heroes with Virtus Pro. Right, the BKB is a step in the right direction, but it's really going to be that next item afterwards that is the big deal maker. Without the BKB, he just gets run down, like we've seen already by no one. They'll find another target, that's DDC, he gets the TP off, the Glimpse comes back in at time, and no one is now godlike. I feel like I've seen this before on his gyrocopter. He's looking for that Omni Slash bait is pretty speedy. Salar might be the bigger target. He has his BKB. The Omni Slash will come through. He's got the Battle Fury. That's just a dead Elder Titan. He doesn't even care that didn't bounce to Salar. It doesn't really matter at that point. You know, with no ET, they have, I guess, no real base defense, right? Look at this. Roger, the BKB is popped for Salar, but he's already at half HP. The Glaives are coming in. Roger will snowball in time to save his life, but the Bruce Foot is there. The one more auto attack for no one to get Salar. He gets the kill. He'll have to buy back with no BKB available. Freeze is getting low. No one is just running at the enemy team. They'll get another one. Freeze down for 57 seconds. They get off the feed. But the toss to cancel it by Pasha, backing everybody up. They can't even get the gyrocopter. Maybe they get the tiny out of this, but he's so tanky. He's got the status resistance to fall back on. GG is called. Furnace Pro route BGJ Thunder in the first game of this best of five final, Drax. My god, dominance asserted in the first game. And this is up against Silar's Luda. We've seen it. Drawn for BGJ Thunder. Yeah, as we saw in the mid though, Freeze did also almost go down. He's had to run his whole way back home. Now all the way up in the top lane though. Uh -oh. That nice tanky Dragon Knight. He's not level 3 yet, so only still one point in the Dragon Blood. Yep. Again, trying to move his way through the trees, but Roger's right there with a rip tide. A lot of damage on that level 1 spell. Follow up and snare onto DDC, the Disruptor Seven trying to make armor. it back to the tower. But Naga happy to dive this and tank it. It's a double kill for Roger. And they'll get away with it scot-free. Now back down bottom. Yang, could he be in some trouble? Ramsey's ready to follow up with some right clicks after the Earth Spike, but not enough damage for a kill. This is TP, the very least, so he wants to go top and create a kill threat here onto Siler. Not as easy once he has a couple points in that Dragon's Blood for just the two of them to bring him down, so with the help of Solo here... Well, and remember, Riptide has some minus armor attached to it, so Silar actually taking a lot of damage. Hex from the line as they dive this tower, Pasha healing them up, and it's another for VP. And now a killing spree secured for Roger's Naga Siren. And now, can anyone even come back up here, right? Like, you can keep throwing this DK here, wandering in behind that tower. It looks like him and Pasha went for a dive, and Pasha now going to get clipped by a stray Thunder Strike. This might be a freebie for DDC. It's going to be close, and it will find the kill before he can make it to the Shrine. They get punished this time for trying to pressure the Dragon Knight. All right, he's back. This is yesterday, right? The Assassin is yep. in there, finds one. Number one DDC Disruptor fan right here, pal. Yeah, you got him. And Roger steals that banner in down bottom. Will he pay for it with his life is the question, though. It's going to be long close. Grab. He's got a lot of stick charges, so might have the opportunity oh, to he heal. He's juking and jive. Dodges the stop, and now Ramsey's come in. They could turn this the other way. Yang caught by the ensnare. Right clicks from Ramsey's, but still not really hitting too hard. But the waveform onto Fade. He uses his stick. Not enough to survive. And beefy and able to deal with that. Bottom lane, this tower will oh. fall. The glyph comes out. No one's level 9, though. I mean, this doesn't yeah. feel that great. It feels like this tower was going to go down anyway, and then you have to pop the DK ulti for it, though. You know, it was already so weak, so... True. I, I don't know if they're necessarily, like, super happy with this. Well, now Fade possibly in some trouble. He gets off the Echo Stomp, but does very little, as no one actually commits the Exorcism. In the mid lane, Solo also in a little bit of trouble here. Yeah, no one's going to rotate in. He wants DDC. Big damage there. It ends up being a double for no one's Death Prophet. Very smart. Very good. Depends on terms of their vision there. It looks like they, yep, they're gonna wrap past Fade. They know their target. 
Well, gets scouted out by the Elder Titan. Stomp connects on just the Lion, but still able to get off the Hex. Pasha throwing in the Impetus, and there's the Finger to finish him off. Static Storm, Kinetic Field from DDC. Oh, uses the not glimpse enough. of the Morph. Oh, my, the Morphling able to pull it back, and DDC in huge trouble. The right clicks will finish him off, and it ends up being two more for Virtus Pro. All right, Song of the Siren from Roger, turns it back the other way, follow-up stun from Roger, and oh look, it's no one with another exorcism. So Terrorblade in some hurt, they're gonna hex him down, no chance for a Sunder, perfectly executed gank by Virtus Pro. Yep. Top and lane, top. Ramses, his TP actually interrupted, he's gonna try to make the retreat, Waveform is up, but he's disarmed, Waveform the other way, will stop. The Pugna Blast, but DK will finish him off. Meanwhile, down bottom now. Fade being dove in the tree line. No one still with the Exorcism on. Easy damage, easy kill, and around the map. It is an advantage for VP. However, they do lose their Morphling. Fine life for him, and I love the way they're playing this Lion early, too. Like, uh -oh. mid-game, not as good, but this, like, there's so much time that he just locks him down and creates no opportunity for the Sunder to come out. Oh, my freeze. This could be back-to-back -back deaths. Another Hex, but this time the Sunder's there. He gets it off onto Pasha. It's a full reset. They've killed Roger, and the glimpse into Pasha. It's going to be a turn the other way, or is it? Reinforcements have arrived. DDC gets brought down as Solo and no one join the party. Not over yet, though. Enchantress finished off by Pugna. This Yang is pretty farmed. VP might need to retreat now that they're running low on resources. Elder Titan also coming into the fray. Gets a stomp onto Solo, sets it up for freeze. So a sign of life for VGJ Thunder eating into that lead and regaining some momentum for themselves as DK now picks up the Shadow Blade. Yeah, that's three heroes down. That's a 1,500 gold swing. We're finally getting some break up in the top net worth. And yeah, very common pickup these days on the hero as well for that Bottom. very reason. Solo in some trouble. Drops the Hex stun. TP out. It's going to be close and he makes it. Nice. Great heads up play. Now back to the mid lane. No one in a lot of trouble. The Earth Splitter will connect. He's low on HP, but Song of the Siren from Roger does break things up. Ramsey's looking for an opportunity to find a kill. Silence on two. No one is not afraid at all. The waveform across. They'll get the Pugna and now fade in a lot of trouble. Echo stop. Yule Scepter interrupts it. And now they should have the damage with a Crypt Swarm. It's a twofer in the mid lane. VP again coming out in the lead. Positioning like they want to oh, go Roger. tier two for tier two. Roger with the Song of the Siren. He's going to set it up for the TPs coming to the shrine. Ramsey's is already here. And it looks like DK will be the target of choice. They pop a dust, but on the backside, Solo almost going down to the pub. Now he does get a, end up getting finished off by Freeze, but they trade for Silar, and now the real fight breaks out. Oh, Static Storm, Storm, Kinetic Field, connects on three. Very low health heroes, but they're all still alive. No one able to dodge the Nether Blast as Yang's on the run, and he may have committed too deep here. Does not have any kind of mobility tool except the brown boots. And there it is as Ramses will finish him off with a stray adaptive strike. Oh. Yes, they said wouldn't fight into the Aegis and the Cheese and Noob. You know, that was that was the genius play. He's like, you guys are welcome. I saved us. Mm -hmm. So uh, this time it didn't cost him his BKB. Still going to be waiting there with the 10 seconds. Terrorblade actually switching up his build, opting not to commit for the Scotty, but instead going for the Dragon Lance. And oh my, there was a Terrorblade there, but he gets destroyed in the, the mid lane. The weren't made. Oh gosh, that is brutal. Now the Song of the Sirens set up onto three. Will the follow-up be there? Silence connects on at least two, two Dragon Knight giving it the first to fall. And now the follow up from Virtus Pro. Like, again, the stomp interrupted by the Yule Scepter. And Fade will get chased down, stunned up by the Adaptive, and oh, sets up Solo's a triple going. for Ramses. Solo is hungry for more. Blink Dagger on cooldown. And DDC will make it back to the tier three. Okay, we're popping DK ulti. We're going in. Join his team once the fight breaks out. Silar, yeah, Shadowblade in the front lanes could go in onto no one. There's the follow up, the decrep, the burst damage. Can they actually kill this death prophet? No, the BKB from no one. They're going to turn the other way. Song of the Siren does reset. Now decrep onto Lion, but no one is going in deep. No holds barred. He has no fears as they find two. The DK falls third, and now this. Tier 2 Tower is the next target. Oh that was basically God. the dream initiation, and still, no one's on the still stall. going. They're so not done. In the face, the they hammer. got Yang. It's a triple kill. There's only one defender. It's the Raid Boss. It's a Terror Blade, and he's dead. Silence will lock him down, and we could be moments from a GG. There's it. VP takes game two in stunning fashion. That was a bold push from into the mid lane as uh, as the bat rider. Then down the bottom, no one.
Working with Ancient Apparition solo and Freeze and Fade uh, will be the last two on that bottom lane. So Centaur is a hero that I am not super confident with, but I think it's actually pretty good this game. Just because they can use him to initiate on some of these uh, team fight heroes, the heroes that are going to make a difference. DDC oh, getting gone. Bowling it, going to go top. Hoof Stomp leveled up his first ability. Suns fan will be impressed as DDC is dropping down low in the trees. Roger will spill the first bluff. They want to keep the pressure on Sila. And with that orb of venom, Sila has to stand close and take it. Hoof Stomp is a very good ability. Um, he does have some mana prompts and learning a little bit. Going again. The roll oh, again. Folder, another Hoof Stomp. Rinse, repeat. This time it's on the other hero. But he is vulnerable now, and here comes. Oh, he's going for the TP. I don't oh, think it's wow. going to work. Yang. Oh. What? You knew it was going to wear out. He didn't back up. Yang's already been Souls in really, trouble bottom. really pressured heavily. And yeah, you're right. With the shard block in the snow snowball. Okay, able to get the stun. So then fade. Low on life. A body block from Freeze. Keeping no one away. He's got toss. In a couple of seconds time, enough one shot just to use it. Yang will die in the meantime, in the mid lane. That was that rotation of Roger we were watching before. Gave him a really good matchup um, in, in all cases, basically. And Death Prophet doesn't want to lane against it because she's worried about dying. And she oh, rolling ball, they're going in again on Yang. This is going from bad to worse. At least he can spread the spiders out. They won't be able to attack as fast that way. But Ramses can still kill the creep wave. They're fighting bottom. Avalanche toss from no one in the trees. Got a medallion already. Like these heroes don't even have seven armor to begin with. And watch this uh, poor moment. Like really, are we rubbing this much salt in the wound? We're looking for highlight clips. We can potentially come back live right now. As Rolling Boulder kick into Sila forces Fade to TP, <laughs> and they really are having a lot of fun. Fade. He's actually in a world of hurt. The Spirely doing too much damage. They have the silence as well. I don't know if we're now just watching this with audio casting and just the uh, the live reaction from Virtus Pro. Pasha getting glimpsed up on the top lane. Freeze thinks about having a go, but Pasha just TP taunts his way off the top lane. But they're actually rotating bottom to try and fight, but Roger's in the tree. Sila, the second he shows himself, will die. There is nothing that will prevent this. The cold feet, the snap, the kicks, the toss around. Actually dodging Roger's stun, and Roger... Whoa. Okay, he's a little bit off target. They turn on the Eclipse. No one cops most of it, but still alive. Tosses the tree! It will be a bit of a trade-off with Tiny going down. He's worth a hell of a lot more than the rest of EGJ is. We don't need no hero. Let the spider army kill! Defense, defense, death. And oh, gonna trouble as well. Ramsey's finally the streak is ended by BGJ Thunder. They fight back. Death to the Broodbuck. He's kind of the sacrificial they're going land, for but... Stampede. They're initiating onto Sila. He's able to get the loser beam off Yang to the neighborhood. Flame break. Sila still going to get triggered off by the cold feet, but support is here from BGJ, you'll lose Sila, the freeze, slowing down Roger, his rolling ball is still on cooldown, Solo trapped in by the shards, so Roger will die to the spirit cypher, then Solo, he's trying to get out of his icy grave, BGJ will stand in the ground with all the sticky napalm charges, Solo just cannot outrun this, Fade will bring him down. This is most likely a kill here. Yeah, Solo gets through the wall, and yeah, okay, they're definitely going to kill him off, but Batrider is the blink dagger, the snowball coming after Ramses, if they can close the distance here, Fade, going to walrus punch him up, there's your lasso, bringing Ramses back, in. These are critical kills they need with the Eclipse. The Spilings will tank through most of it. The Ice so is coming in. Ramses, he lives on 90 HP. The Flame Break couldn't kill him off. And now fades the man on the run. VP bringing supplies in so quickly. And with the Stampede, it's a disengage for the Brood and engage for everybody else. So, run, Sila. Run. Kick. Oh, he gets him. No way. Roger. Blinding it. My With God. the blink hook stop, they'll take out Sila. And these guys, they're using the force. Um, now they're grouped as four. They've got exorcism ready, only level 10 on the Death Prophet, as much as she'd love to have um, a more strong exorcism. But they can still get a kill here. Oh, they don't actually have the lasso for Yang, so this will make it difficult. But when Solo walks into them, things become a lot easier. It wouldn't really happen. Even if they, yeah. if they actually had an experience advantage for a very short span of time. And they're going to look, try and get it now with the smoke up, lasso available, exorcism available. They would love to get the Broodmother who just found it in Viz Rune. Detection required. They Yang, they actually got him. Pull back nothing. the Broodmother. Need to hold him in position. The wall will not do it. As now the retreat begins because the rolling ball to Ice Blast kick from Roger on the money. DDC trying to run out this one, but he'll end up shattering. Fade will be unlucky too. The VGJ, at least they get their cause out of this if we look for the silver lining. 
position, but you don't have time to check to see if you have the detection. They're going to try to catch no one. They actually failed the silence here. Yeah, this will be problematic. No one, however, will still go down. I think that's reasonable as well, just because of the A being on the enemy team. The Centaur, I think he's realizing. Oh, bottom lane. Here comes your Ice Blast in. Silo. And on take the damage and all these wonderful 17 one charges. Oh, he's going to shatter. He's going to shatter in probably one. It's close. Oh, like five HP. Very clear. They turn around the bottom lane. DDC was down there to C. Yeah, that was actually things. five HP. <laughs> the sentries up on the hill. Fire five potential from Yang. But it's how, how long? Are they going to wait before they come in close? No one's waiting, they're ready to fight. The Avalanche, oh, the whole stun, and the Ice Blast! Perfect synergy from Virtus Pro! They'll bring down three of VGJ and finish what they started, which is Roshan. And here comes the Rolling Boulder, quick silence onto the Disruptor. Yang had the cold feet on him, and he hasn't worked out if he wants to get in or out of this one. Exorcism burned by Freeze, the Avalanche onto Sila, but the Storm is good. But then with the Lasso, they're trying to clip up Randy's and keep him burning. The BKB will give a little bit more life, finally the Luna will go down as Pasha jumps on top of DDC, getting the extra control. Rogers is waiting it out, and everyone just magnetized so hard. Fate's finally going to be killing off one, and maybe they have enough damage. Bad, They're jumping in. Batrider does not good. have last sorrow, but he wants to stop Randy's from getting this bottom tower. Fate's nearby. Here comes your Ice Blast. Yang, he can't get caught by this. A four stop. He dodges the Ice Blast. DDC, way too much damage. Ramsey's had the insatiable hunger turned on, ready to fight. And now Disruptor is down for a little bit. Yang is still not ready to fight. But Luna is respawning, and Virtus Pro will not force the issue. Seconds. Eclipse lasts for six seconds. You can stop Eclipse damage, you can stop anybody that's in trouble, keep them uh, more resistant to damage. I love that from Ramsey's just then, the, uh, like, so he had his big group they on him. Oh, they jump in, no one got the BKB off there, just so ball protection we're talking about, but the double hot stop, Pasha, he got the back lines with the Ice Blast too, BGJ, they were waiting for the perfect fight, this is not it, Luna dies right in front of her own tier 3 tower, Freeze, he's on the back side trying to work with Yang, a full stop away, won't happen, the spawns finally reach him, and now Freeze will go down to BGJ, are all dead, and you know where VP are going, into the mid lane, buybacks are coming, it's all or nothing, they got the a final defender. game. Solo just burned his Ice Blast, looking for a good target, so they won't have that for the next 30 seconds, so a small window. These little spiders for some do. kind of advantage, what else, does, what else can Yang get? Like, Yang is watching, but he's, he's got Firefly up, takes to the air, they just try and get rid of the spiders, but there's your jump in, a nice four star away. Yang, avoiding the initiation of Virtus Pro, but no one just turns back into the fight. The Avalanche toss, where are these BKBs? It won't really matter, because you got so much damage from Virtus Pro. They are immune, they are warriors, and they're looking to bring down Freeze. He's a big one to claim, no immunity left anymore. They just keep pumping into him, no one's got the distance, even with the tree toss, they can't get that, and GG well played. Virtus Pro! Another major title, and they did it in more than convincing fashion.